Hi guys, in today's video we are going to be taking a look at some leaked information and images relating to Ops Phase 3 in Plants vs Zombies Battle for Neighborville. Now I know a lot of you, including myself, are starting to feel the Battle for Neighborville is really lacking in the content department. Yes, we get a new prize map each month, Giddy Park changes its look and we get a new legendary upgrade. However, since launch we have only had two new maps, Oozevoir and Preserve Pastures. We haven't had any new game modes or any new PvE regions. We haven't even had anything new in the Rewardertron, so we're in a bit of a content drought at the moment. However, in this video we'll be taking a look at Ops Phase 3 which to be fair sounds really awesome from the images and info we have that were of course obtained by the amazing NM Gaming it seems like Ops Phase 3 may be incorporating more tactical and strategic gameplay mechanics as usual just before we begin remember to hit those like and subscribe buttons if you enjoy the content on this channel and want to help it grow Anyway, let's get started. So like I said previously, Ops Phase 3 is looking at making the mode more challenging and strategic. If any of you have played Horde mode in the Gears of War games, this will be very familiar to you. But basically, Ops Phase 3 is going to have a defense system where you can purchase things that will help you fend off the zombie or plant hordes. This includes stuff like barricades, AI support, gardenator defenses, new potted plants and more. So with this type of system coming into play, PopCap have developed a new currency system specific to ops mode in a previous update the currency for ops phase 3 looked like it was going to be coins but that has now been replaced with a new one called blue stars here is an image of them found in the files so it's just like a rainbow star but with a blue gradient instead we also got some information of how you'll be able to earn the blue stars and this is through either vanquishing enemies or collecting them from bonus chests whatever they are and I'm sure there will be other ways to earn them too so as well as this information we got a ton of information about the different types of upgrade you can purchase and how many blue stars they might cost now there are a lot of these upgrades so I'm just going to mention the most interesting ones but if you are interested in the full list I have put a link to NM Gaming's video in the description First off, we'll take a look at Barricade. So there are two upgrades we know of so far and they stack. One is called Unlock Barricades, which costs 20 blue stars and this unlocks the ability to place barricades, obviously. Then we have Upgrade Barricades for 40 blue stars, which makes the barricades last longer and deal damage to enemies. So we actually have a work in progress image of the barricade, which actually looks pretty awesome. I'm hoping that when it's finished, they'll incorporate some of the PVZ 1 and 2 plants into the barricade, like Spy weed and spike rock next up we have grave omatic defenses which costs 50 blue stars again you can guess what this does all the names in this are obvious by the way but these will just be working names so don't worry anyway this enables your grave omatic or gardenator to defend itself which is super cool there's also a couple of other grave omatic gardenator related upgrades such as giving it the ability to heal you or slow down enemies in the area around your base Next we have Unlock Advanced Bots or Pots. This costs 50 blue stars and will unlock lots of new and more powerful bots and pots. One of which is going to be Ice Shroom. I've actually done a separate video on Ice Shroom so if you want to check that out the link is in the description. But yes it is likely we are going to see the return of Garden Warfare 2 Bots and Pots and hopefully some brand new ones as well. Next up is Summon Hero Ally costing 60 blue stars. This will allow you to summon a hero player or zombie to help you. I'm assuming this might be a random character but who knows. But not only this there is another upgrade that costs 60 stars that allows you to upgrade your hero to a champion hero making them more powerful. Finally, we have two very mysterious upgrades. The first one is called Big Red Button and its description says PUSH THE BUTTON in capital letters. From the information NM Gaming found, it looks like this will do 50 damage. It doesn't say what to, but I imagine this might do 50 damage to every zombie that's spawned, similar to how the nuke upgrade works in Call of Duty Zombies. The second upgrade just makes the button do more damage, 75 instead of 50. So that's about it for upgrades. Now I'm going to talk about the purchase of blue stars and difficulty settings. Now there's not really that much to say about this but basically what has been found is some files that contain purchasing logic which I think just means there will be some sort of menu in Ops Phase 3 that allows you to purchase your upgrades. The same goes for difficulty settings. It appears you might be able to choose the difficulty for Ops just like you can in Garden Warfare 2. 
Finally, we just have some images that confirm we are going to be seeing the return of different AI minions. The images here are a list of different AI minions such as the Karate Zombie, Fan Imp and Dancer Zombies. In NM's video, they do state that they did not add the weed icon in the background. This is actually what the files look like. Overall, I have to say I'm very excited about Ops Phase 3. It sounds like it could make Ops a really fun game mode indeed. I'm trying not to get myself too hyped though because we have to remember that with any leaked content it's likely to change and who knows this all may be for a different project or an idea that they're working on. I just hope Ops Phase 3 is what we expect it to be. Anyway guys, that's about it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you think about Ops Phase 3 in the comments below. But other than that, remember to subscribe and I shall see you in the next one. Okay. Thanks guys, bye.